Hello, I'm the Resolute Cartographer, and this is the 73rd video of my Fallout 76 Surveil series covering the Emmett Mountain Disposal Site. Taking a look at the map. Here we are. If you're looking at the map, it's this uh, truck with a bunch of pipes on top of it for whatever reason. Uh, <laughs> go take a look at this. Okay, so we got this, uh, I guess that's why right there, but because uh, we got that Pulowski Preservation Shelter and uh, the radioactive barrels. This is a very radioactive site, which is why I'm wearing this uh, prototype hazmat gear. Uh, we've got a, a United States Department of Energy uh, sigil on the side of it here, going inside this. We've got, uh, well, there were a couple of rad roaches in here, which is why there's buzzing going on. Ammo box right there. We've got a Kim Cooler right there. Coming around here, some bobby pins. A uh, file cabinet with a ball pin hammer in it. Of course, that's probably just random junk. Bet you starch there. Okay. Got an old pickup truck, old uh, defensive wall here with chain link fence and barbed wire on top, some old pipes, storage containers, well shipping containers I should say, including including one from vault -Tec. just wanted to make sure that wasn't going to be an issue. Okay, coming around here we've got a whole bunch of radioactive gas, we've got a broken wall there, uh, a whole bunch of junk there. Okay, we're going to go in there in the end here, so we don't need to worry about that right at the moment, but we're going to take a look over here at this storage shed with a whole bunch of radioactive barrels inside of it. Wood piles there on the ground. An aluminum canister right there. Coming around here we've got uh, some pumping equipment I believe. And then along with that uh, there's a shed here. Hazardous waste storage. Okay, got some right away. Stim pack. A lunch pail there. Toolbox with some junk in it. Coming back out here, I think I'm about to be attacked by a mole rat. I've been at this site for a little while. Because I had to take out a <laughs> glowing death claw inside, and that took a while. Well, uh, let's take a look inside this structure here. Okay, so we've got some consoles here. Stim pack. Coming back in here, we've got a damaged hazmat suit. There is a prototype hazmat suit, that's the one I'm actually wearing right now, right here on top of this speaker. Uh, along with that, we've got some boiled water. I accidentally scrapped my old uh, prototype hazmat suit that I got for the dire chemical plant. Okay, and we have a uh, terminal here, Emmett Mountain Disposal Terminal. Current Site Manager, Amelia Reynolds, Wikilog EMDS-001A. Set Supervisor, Wesley Wikowski. These logs are intended to track the progress of nuclear waste storage at this new facility. Disposal cells 1 through 8 have been fully excavated and structural supports are in place. Each cell is rated to hold 128 55-gallon drums of nuclear waste, which puts our capacity at 1,024 drums. We already have a batch that was delivered this week awaiting storage, so it looks like we're open for business. Weekly Log EMDS-002A Seismos went nuts this morning and all the cameras in Disposal Cell 2 are dead. Looks like all the supports snap and we have a cave collapse. Two of my guys were in that cell doing inspections, but there's been no sign of them since the accident. When we started excavating the cell, the guy kind of spiked, which means we're looking at a containment breach. At this point, I'm declaring the trap workers deceased, and we'll have to seal the area. I've contacted the foreman at Federal Disposal Field HZ-21 for assistance. Weekly Log EMDS-003A Even after sealing Disposal Cell 2, we're still reading high levels of radiation. We're still, most of my staff are starting to show signs of radiation poisoning. I sent requests up the ladder to the energy department, but all they came back with were two medical doctors who had more questions than answers. They keep poking and prodding my men, asking them how they're feeling, but not really treating them. I'm starting to think that we're being used as lab rats to test the long-term effects of radiation sickness on humans. It's ridiculous. I'm driving up to Washington tomorrow to give them a piece of my mind. Weekly Log EMDS-004A Site Supervisor Donald Clark I've been assigned to Emmett Mountain to replace the outgoing site manager, Wesley Wachowski. I'm not sure why he left this assignment so abruptly, and frankly I don't care. This is a big promotion for me, and I couldn't be happier. My first order of business is to go over every square inch of this facility and look for any deficient construction or equipment failures that could be contributing to the accidents they've been suffering. I'm also looking forward to working with the doctors that we have on site that are helping to monitor the employees' health. Nice to have them watching our backs. Weekly Log EMDS-005A after an extensive survey of the site, I can confirm that the accident in Disposal Cell 2 was caused by deficient construction materials. They used wooden supports for goodness sake. How anyone could expect these not to dry rot under these conditions is absolutely beyond me. 
I've recommended that all seven remaining disposal cells receive metal reinforcements immediately. Beyond that, we've lost 30 of the 55 gallon drums of waste from the collapse, and they're likely seeping into the groundwater. It's absolutely infuriating that this facility was constructed so poorly. I think I'll have a nice long chat with my supervisor back in DC. Weekly log EMDS-006A. Site Supervisor Amelia Reynolds. I've been assigned to Emmett Mountain to replace the outgoing site manager, Donald Clark. Everything at Emmett Mountain is running smoothly and with unacceptable parameters. I've canceled all the ridiculous work orders created by Donald Clark, and I will carefully search for other ways to cut unnecessary costs. So that shows you the uh, level of concern they had for actual, actually containing the nuclear waste here at this site. Aluminum canister there, shotgun shells in that duffel bag. Okay, we got a little storage closet in here with an explosives crate. Okay, and some junk in there. Alright. I think I just over encumbered myself, so give me a second here. Okay, let's head back out here. And we've looked at the rest of the site. So let's head back over here and go on inside. Alright, so here we are. A whole bunch of these uh, radioactive barrels. Uh, all this is from uh, feral ghouls that were occupying the site. Uh, again, there is a death claw as well, uh, but that stuff is all feral ghouls. Let's see what this button does. Ah, activates the uh, emergency alert system. Okay, so coming back in here, it looks like we got some large scale generators here. Uh, that, what does that say? Inflow. Odd, because it's pointing the other direction. My guess is those are supposed to say outflow, but uh, I don't know. Anyway, um, maybe on generators, maybe these things are supposed to be uh, providing uh, ventilation to the site, or I honestly don't know. Anyway, uh, coming over here, we got a T-45 power armor suit here, uh, with a couple pieces on it at least. Another stem pack there. Strangely, you always seem to find those on consoles. Uh, not over here, I guess, but anyway, coming back out here. There's a little closet in there. We'll take a look in there real quick. Okay, another terminal, but if we take a look at it, it's the exact same entries. We got a, another lunch pail here. Got a battered clipboard there, it was nice to get the uh, spring off of that. Aluminum scrap and some gears, wood scrap, some mintats, laser rifles, infusion cells, waste oil, waste acid, uh, concrete scrap, and an ammo box. Then we have this hole in the wall back here. And that drops down, we'll come back around to that in a minute though. We'll come around to the other side of it. Okay, so there's also this generator back here. It doesn't have a fusion core in it at the moment. Didn't have one when I first showed up. I don't really know if uh, you basically get one of those, because I've been to this site before, uh, so it could be that I pulled that out before. I don't know if you get basically one of those per character per one of those things. I don't really know, but uh, it was empty when I showed up. And I feel like most of the ones I come across these days are empty. But anyway, we got a steel workers uniform here. We got a locker room, another... Uh, meat pile left over from a feral ghoul. We got multiple hazmat suits in here, and these ones are not damaged, which is nice. There is a damaged one up there, though. PDF buttercup head in that locker, so probably just randomized junk. Some more sinks. Got a uh, toilet sink. Sorry. Toilet urinal and a couple of sinks. That is not any privacy for that toilet right there. Anyway, uh, Kim Cooler here. Ribeye steak. Always nice to get those. Okay, and we've got this decontamination shower, which can be activated with this button. Got rid of those four or five rads I had. Okay. And now we can head down this main shaft. Now, like he said, wooden supports. That really doesn't seem like a very good idea for long-term storage of extremely dangerous material. Okay. So we got uh, multiple directions we can go in here. We're gonna head over here first, and we have a dead worker here wearing minor out wearing a minor outfit. Um, not sure if this was intended to be like one of the storage locations, but there's nothing in it if there was, other than those petrified corpses. I mean, coming down here, we got uh, this whole area full of barrels, and there's also an explosive scrape back here. There's also another area full of barrels with a uh, duffel bag with some pre-war money in it. There, another petrified corpse. And coming back here, we have like the real secret of this site. 
Well, that, I think, right there is the collapsed um, vault where all the rest of these barrels and two of the workers were. In fact, those are the two workers. So I don't know why they would have problems digging them out. But anyway, uh, along with that, this is the real secret of this site, which is all these super mutant parts. Now, I've not seen any actual basis saying that this comes from the West Tech facility, which is right down here. Uh, I mean, I, I may have missed it somewhere, but I didn't find anything here that refers to this directly coming from the West Tech facility. But the fact that this is a pre-war site that is full of barrels, full of super mutant parts, tells me that it very likely is the case that West Tech disposed of some of their experiments by just packing them in radioactive barrels and shipping them off to, these, to this site. So, something to keep in mind. Alright, let's uh, head up to the other side. Okay, so let's head down this side. Here's another one of these vaults. This one uh, nice and full of barrels. With another petrified corpse. This one is partially full of barrels, but then we also have this cave here. And if we head up this way, another dead miner here for what... I don't know why they would be uh, excavating this. Maybe this guy came up here when everything went down and just decided to stay up in here, but whatever. Uh, this is this goes up to that office that I showed you earlier. See? Alright, head back down. Okay. And as we come around the corner here, we have two more of these cells. One right here. Another dead miner. Another dead miner right there with a stealth boy. <laughs> interesting that he would have that. A plan for a pickaxe. Well, of course, the randomized, but... Uh, and then this right here is where a uh, death clock can come spitting up out of the ground. Uh, and then right behind him, an industrial trunk. With, in this case, some really crappy loot. <laughs> Given that this was a... Uh, yeah, this character is level 95. That was a level 94 glowing death claw, and I got uh, a couple pieces of gunpowder. And uh, what was the other thing? A few fusion cells, or... What's it called? Uh, two millimeter electromagnetic cartridges. So... Anyway, uh, oh yeah, first aid kit right there. All right, though, I think that'll do it for the Emmett Mount Disposal Site. Uh, an interesting location because of its ties to the uh, West Tech facility. And also because it does seem almost like the government was trying to run tests on radiation exposure on the workers here. But I think that'll do it. This has been the Resolute Cartographer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.